So a lot of people have been asking me for a new AeroPress recipe. And I took a little bit of inspiration from the stall the fall switch technique and put it into the AeroPress recipe. So let me show you my newest technique. For me, the AeroPress is one of the easiest brewers to use and it always makes a very tasty cup of coffee. So I wanted to show you one of the simplest methods that you can use every day. If you guys are new here, my name is Vincent and I'm the head roaster for Tails Coffee. And if you love experimental and educational videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can get the latest updates on my newest techniques. So for today's recipe, we're actually gonna have the AeroPress in the inverted method. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's where you have the plunger on the bottom and then you add the brewing device kind of on top. And so it sits like this. And then what we're gonna do first is we're gonna add water first into the AeroPress. And this is what was inspired from the stall the fall technique on the switch. Now, adding water first allows us to put the grinds in after, which results for me in a much gentler coffee. It's because we don't actually have the agitation from the action of pouring. And instead, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be stirring. And we have talked about this before, but when we stir, we just look to stir to make sure all the grinds have kind of sat down, and that's how we know it is fully saturated. And when that happens, we flip it over and we just press. Pretty easy, right? Let me show you guys how it works. But before we get into the demo, everybody wants to know what the recipe is. And it's gonna be 20 grams of beans to 200 grams of water. We're going to be using boiling water in the inverted arrow press. And then it's gonna be a, a medium fine, or as if you guys wanted to know, it's about 400 microns of a grind size. And we just add that in and we press. So as you guys can see, I've got myself the arrow press and the inverted method. We've got the 20 grams of beans. What we're gonna first start with is we're gonna add the hot water into here. I've got my scale here so I can see. And we have now hit 200 grams of water. And so what we do now is we add the, the, the beans in. So the only issue that I can find with this method is, as you guys can see, it can get a little bit messy. Sometimes I, I, this happens to me. And when we do that, we just leave it. It's not, not a huge deal. Let me go grab my chopstick, I forgot. So when we stir, we, we don't need to really time ourselves. What we need to do instead is we need to stir and just make sure all the grinds have kind of sat down. Now I like to do this away from my scale to get more stability. Um, it gets a little bit dry at the top and here we have stirred most of the stuff in. Now I've got ourselves more of a medium kind of coffee. There is gonna be a little bit more stirring time. And what we look to do is just to make sure everything is fully saturated. It could take a little bit longer for darker roasts. Uh, for lighter roasts, it doesn't have to take as much time. And how we check is we just kind of stop and then you're gonna see if anything, if any of like the, the larger chunks or the heavier chunks start to float up, keep stirring, not, not a problem at all. You could use a paddle, you could use a spoon. Those tend to have a little bit more agitation. You tend to extract those a little bit quicker. And right now it's done. So what you wanna do is you just wanna add the filter in. And then we turn it upside down. You can even do it slowly, like it's fine. Just be careful. And then we press. Now we're done. Let's just pour it and taste it. So let's give it a quick taste while I talk about the method itself. From the AeroPress, because it's the AeroPress, you're naturally gonna have a little bit more oils than in something like a pour over. That's because we're able to press more of the grinds out. One of the benefits of having the AeroPress is definitely the texture. And that's why we wanted to focus on such a tight ratio. The one to 10 ratio really likes, highlights this heavier texture. And so with the oils, we're gonna taste much more strength in the coffee. Now. As you guys can see, with this technique, it could be a little bit messy. It's also because my copper cup has a lot more static to it. So it kind of, the clumps like to stay in there. Um, what you can do is you can just kind of spoon it out slowly and it works just fine or use a different thing. Um, I use plastic ones all the time and it just works well. Now as for the taste, yeah, like I said, it's just, it's a much stronger cup of coffee uh, than when I normally have it as a pour over. You can already see the oils just floating around. It is a bit thicker, but it is still amazing. It's super tasty and super easy to make. Uh, the only reason why I don't make larger cups is because the AeroPress doesn't really fit as much liquids in it. 
What you can do instead is you can add a bypass. So that's if I were to add some hot water to it right now. So that would be a bypass and you can kind of dilute or make it less strong by adding the water directly into your coffees. And that's how you bring up more sweetness in, in your cup of coffee. So by no means is this the tastiest AeroPress recipe out there, but I did want to focus on the simplicity of it. Normally in traditional kind of AeroPress recipes, we're gonna talk about how we press a little bit differently or it's like you just pour it in. I just wanted to make it super simple. It's a one to 10 ratio. You just kind of get your water in first. There's no difference in how you pour. There's no difference in types of beans, no timing, nothing. We're only looking to make sure we have stirred all the floating grinds down and then we press. You can press it however you want, faster, slower, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna get a very simple and tasty cup of coffee. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this brewing technique. Is it simple enough? What do you think of the flavors? Does it create something that you enjoy? Because for me, I personally really enjoy it. It suits my palate very well. It has a nice gentleness and it has a nice kind of like compact flavors. If you guys wanted to dilute it a little bit, you could add a little bit of water. That's the bypass, just like that. Just add a little bit of water to taste. But yeah, enjoy your brewing. Happy brewing, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.